a beat on the beat. Good morning, guys. So it is day one of KC Fashion Week, and my call time is at three, so I have to be there at three. Um, but you guys can kind of like get ready with me. Um, I look white. Oh my god. Oh my god. But I wanted to vlog this experience and kind of show you guys, um, like behind the scenes of like the modeling world or like Casey Fashion Week. Um, so that's why I'm here. Um, but make sure before we get into any of this, um, make sure to like this video make sure to leave a comment let me know what y'all want to see and make sure to subscribe um make sure to hit that notification bell so that you guys are notified every time i post okay okay so i'm just about to get ready um i know y'all looking at me like girl yeah so i'm about to get ready um i'll probably come back when i'm about to do like my makeup and stuff well my foundation and concealer i'm not doing extra but yeah okay so i just got out of the shower i still look crazy because my hair's right but whatever i'm kind of i don't want to say running late but kind of so they asked us to have our foundation and concealer already on so i'm about to do that but hold on if you know me then you know i don't do all that makeup stuff but we're gonna do it because i have to so i got this beauty blender and like mini brush thing <laughs> mini brush thing from oh it's actually really soft but i got this from forever 21 this is mm, questionable but it'll do the job i actually don't have primer so what i don't look y'all i don't before anybody tries to go off on me or tell me i'm doing something wrong i don't know what i'm doing okay so i'm gonna put a little powder this is too much in here. I'm gonna put a little powder like on my face first where I get oily before I put foundation because I don't have primer and that's not good. I'm gonna take my nose ring out. They asked us to come with um, foundation and concealer so that's what I'm doing. I'm just put a little bit more like on my forehead. So now I'm about to. If y'all care, this is the foundation that I'm using. It's Color Perfect, or I don't know what this brand is, but uh, yeah. Mm -mm. This ain't a tutorial, so I guess it don't matter, huh? I'm just gonna. Foundation all over my face, nose, forehead. And it's really annoying because I have things to do for tomorrow's show. Oh, this is kind of a lot. I need to find, y'all, I have to find a wig. I think I told y'all that on my last video. But. So what am I beauty blender? I'm going to dry it a little bit with a paper towel because it's too wet to me. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and blend. I hate makeup. I hate it because you have to take it off and I'm lazy. Yeah, I was asleep last night and my scarf came off. So like, I had to wake up and like wrap it and just i'm just gonna have to leave it like that so i know like people say like as a model like you're supposed to know how to like do um i feel like this just soaked all my makeup up if we're being honest so we're gonna put a little more yeah like i was saying as a model you're supposed to know how to like quick do like a quick beat like if you need to and i'm still learning Definitely. But that's okay. For those that don't know, 
Hold on. For those that don't know, this is my first um, fashion week. I've never participated in any city's fashion week. Um, and I'm kind of nervous, but kind of excited. It was supposed to be, um, it was supposed to be in March. Um, it was supposed to be March 27th and 28th. Those are the days that I was walking. And um, of course, you know, COVID, stupid self. Corona came and acted a fool and shut everything down. So they moved the show to September, which is now. What was I saying? Yeah, they moved the show to September, which is now. Um, and it's virtual, which, oh, which kind of sucks because it's not the same, you know, as like walking, you know, in front of all these people, like experiencing that. But it's okay, I guess. So now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm using, um, I'm using e.l.f. concealer. So I'm just gonna do the normal. I'm gonna under my eye. I'm gonna do a down the nose, my chin, my smile lines, and then my forehead. But yeah, I've never done a, K or a fashion week and it's virtual, which sucks so bad, but it is what it is. I guess I'm still getting an experience and being able to, uh, you know, get myself kind of out there. I was told that the foundation and concealer that I have aren't my colors, <laughs> but I think they are okay. I think. I don't know how to do, well, I don't want to say I don't know how to do makeup because like, honestly, when I need to, I do what I have to do. But um, one thing I do know how to do is blend because it pisses me off. Oh, I just kind of messed that up. It pisses me off when people um, have makeup and it's not blended all the way like sis or bro. Please blend that eyebrow concealer because I know you see it because I do. You know what I'm saying? So. Ooh, this kind of looks good though. I'm actually gonna put a little more concealer under my eyes because you know when you're doing like photo shoots and stuff, you have to be like flawless. So we're gonna do that. I'm almost done. What time is it? Okay, 141. As long as I leave here by two, I should be fine. So we're still getting our makeup done, but the reason, I guess, okay, maybe I should explain why I'm doing this. So since the show is now virtual, um, we have, each designer has like four hours for everything. So it's, um, they have uh, an hour for hair and makeup and you have to think it's like 20 of us. So it's an hour for hair and makeup. It's an hour for like runway practice it's an hour for the actual like production recording and then it's um an hour for photo shoots so now i forgot to tell y'all i'm doing powder this is the kind of powder i have it's the um maybelline let me hide maybe it was fuck it it's the maybelline fit me powder um and i'm not putting like a lot a lot I'm just putting enough to kind of set under my eyes and then I'll brush it off. Um, I'm done. I'm going to set right here too because my smile lines be really coming through. When I start cheesing and shit. We're also going to set my forehead. Oh, 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 oh. It fell down on my nose. Okay, so now I'm gonna. I probably should have got a real um, brush. Cause this is weird, I don't know what the hell. 
One thing that's really scary to have is flashback. So I'm trying to blend all this out as much as I can. Mm, do I look like a ghost? Mm, can't really tell. I'm actually gonna go back in with this blender. And... So this is what my face looks like. Y'all, that does not look like it matches. Hold on y'all, I gotta go in and like some true light because it looks better in this mirror. I'm gonna let the makeup artist fix whatever's wrong because I don't know. I feel like it's fine. It's kind of just the lighting in here, like it's kind of dark. And then I don't have anything else on my face, so it looks kind of weird. I usually, you know, you have a you have contour, highlight, so it's you know, but whatever. I'm just gonna take this with me. I guess I will get with y'all when I'm either like there. I look really crazy and I promise y'all, I promise it's not that off. And you know what's crazy? When I watch YouTube, a lot of times it do be seeming like, um, like the YouTubers, like, like girls, like their faces don't be matching. But now I understand cause like I'm looking in the mirror and this, yeah, this matches, this matches. And it's not too far off, but on here, it looks like I'm like white or something. But yeah, I will get with y'all when I get there. Okay, bye. Okay guys, so I'm here. I'm super incognito, but um, yeah, we're waiting on hair and makeup. Um, it's huge, we're in Union Station, which is like, a lot, but um, I don't know if you guys can see this. But yeah, so I will get back with y'all when I'm actually doing something and not just sitting here. So. Do you want me to take my mask off or it's okay? No, you should keep it on. Okay. All right, I'm ready. The dry wash, I promise. Is this your first time doing fashion week? Yeah. That's so exciting. Yeah. Oh, is this your first time? Yep. Yeah. You told me this and I was like, if I lose it, I'm going to lose it. No, girl, I'm going to turn it off. Do you know what you're wearing? Yeah. So it's like a, it's like a black, like, dress, like, simple dress. Oh. And it's like half length, kind of. And then I have, like, a wrap dress. Um, It's like army, see-through, kind of. Um, I have, like, a I'm kind of sad about that. I kind of want to like experience, experience it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We all, I do. Yeah. You like the experience of like seeing like a baddie. Yeah. So do you do YouTube ready for work? Um, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> so I'm trying. In, right. Love that. I'm in the process of like getting off the ground. Yeah. Um, but what do you eventually. Do on there? Like, what is your channel? All about? Um, so I vlog, yeah, I vlog, so like today, um, like Casey Fashion Week, like behind the scenes kind of thing. Right. I think people would like be interested, some people. Um, I vlog myself cutting all my hair off. I think she's good, sorry man. No, you're fine. Um, well, I vlog myself like cutting all my hair off. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that I'm still editing that one. Right. Um, I pranked my mom and told her I was pregnant. <laughs> what? You are savage. Yeah. I love it. I love that. I also do a lot of like curly hair stuff, like natural. Yes. Stuff. Yes. So, we love that. Yeah. But now I'm kind of bald. So. Dude, honestly, it's like YouTube that like one of the things that like really helped me to accept my curly hair mm -hmm. was literally like curly girls on YouTube, like just Dang. showing you how to do it. Yeah. Like I feel like a lot of people with curly hair, they just don't like it because they don't know how to do it. Yeah. And like they, you know, I used to think it was so ugly, but it's really not. It's so, I love it. I know. I wouldn't trade my hair for anything in the oh, world. I love that. We yeah. need that confidence. Are you doing makeup too? Mm hmm. Okay. 
So I probably should get started on you. Yeah, you might need to go like ask them what this look is gonna. Oh, she's yeah. wearing like really sleek dress. Ooh. Mask off for me. Yeah. Thank you. For the makeup, you can see my face. Oh, look, I already did um, foundation and concealer, and I set this, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best. Eyebrows? At that kind of no. Okay, I best say. Yeah. Do we want some eyebrows? Yeah, we can do some eyebrows. You see mine? Yeah. You like them? Yeah. I like bold brows. I like a little natural. I so do. You are, well, it just depends on your brows. Um, yeah. Are you recording? Yeah, I am. Is that okay? Yeah, she's yeah girl. Follow me, Alita23. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't even know where though. She's Alita23. <laughs> um, girl, I'm about to be vlogging too. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're fine. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt and plug my social media account. No, I, I like that better than people that are like, you know? Yeah, so it's okay. Do you think like after I comb out the tees and like wrap my hair, you know like because it's straight, do you think like it'll be okay? When I say okay, like to where I can still like wear it down like this. Yeah, it's still gonna I have be to, like, straight. Like I'm not putting any like moist. I'm not putting any like Oil. wet products. Gotcha. It's okay. all like dry spray and whatever because we're doing like volume and you're already really sleek and smooth. I'm not gonna put any extra oils. Okay. You know, so mm -hmm. I think you could still just wear it down. Okay. Really cleaning for the hair. It's kind of like dry shampoo. Okay. Except for it's just going to give you more volume. So gotcha. it's a um, waterless shampoo, pretty much. Gotcha. But it also just gives us like some texture and body. Okay. So it's all dry. Like it's not okay. Thank super you. dry. Like look when it comes out. That's gotcha. Gotcha. Lighting's not the best, but this is my look. We got some, what is this called? Like glow stick hairpin things. Really cool. My makeup's okay. They teased my hair a little, but it's not really holding, but that's okay. Y'all see my mask, it's so full of makeup, but yeah. I just want to update y'all, I'm in the bathroom. But yeah, this is my look. Okay, I had to get a thumbnail. Bye. I just messed my hair up. Okay.
Thank you. Okay. I be looking really scary on this camera. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm done for today. Tomorrow I have to be back at 8.30 for another show. But um, yeah, I'm starving. So, while I'm talking, I'm about to eat something. I don't know what I want to eat. I have a few options. So we got a muffin, an apple. Ooh, I have some Ghirardelli squares. Mmm, I have some some crackers. Mmm, which one should I eat? Anyways, um, what I wanted to say was, I don't know if y'all noticed, um, but in the last clip, I had on like a brown mask instead of like the studded black one I had on. And basically, the designer... <laughs> The designer had masks that she wanted us to wear for like a group picture and she basically gave I was the only black girl I'm just throw that out there but she basically gave everybody like a tannish or like a yeah it was like a tan like a tannish color mask and then she pulls a, a super brown mask out of the thing and hands it to me it was really awkward because everybody's just watching me get my mask and I'm the only black girl and I get the darkest mask which I get it I guess like maybe like skin tone but it's just like like to be the only black girl you know and have something like that happen I don't know what I'm mm. I'll save that for it I'm gonna eat this but yeah I'm about to um leave now um and I guess I will see y'all in the morning yeah see ya the next day no i'm not a writer okay about that just because I don't know how it's gonna look so I guess I will show y'all when I have it on I don't know she told me to like kind of like do it a little bit like beforehand but it's like okay camera she asked me could I like try to do it best I can beforehand but I'm not gonna lie I put that wig on I was like uh-uh it literally looked like a Halloween costume. Like I just look, it looked crazy. So I don't know what to do. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the hairstylist take care of it though. So yeah, I guess I will see y'all um, when I'm there. Okay. Bye.
Okay, y'all. So. Just got done walking. Um, I'm gonna snatch this wig off. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Please do not. Ow! Please do not be alarmed by my appearance. I look extremely terrifying right now. However, I snatched that wig. I was trying to record it, but it was too many people. But y'all, this. I looked crazy, crazy. Like, I just think that when you have majority white hairstylists and white makeup artists doing black hair and black makeup that aren't necessarily used to it, you're gonna get outcomes like this. Um, I do think that the wig was probably not the best choice, but I just got my hair done and I wasn't really like, you know, like trying to ruin that by having them like tease and hairspray and all this extra stuff and then put extra heat on my hair, which is damaging, you know? So, yeah, I look very terrifying. People probably look at my car and be like, oh. But y'all, I literally took that wig off and threw it right away. Now I need a snack. Let's see what I got. I got some more crackers just like yesterday, so. But y'all, that was, and it's like, it's hard to be super confident, you know, like when you don't feel like you look good. But I mean, I did the best I can, and I just know like all like all the other models, and then like even people that like were just in other or walking for other designers. And um, I know y'all probably like, girl, how are you driving and? You got both your hands up. I do this thing where I drive on my knees. Not a good thing, but but yeah, like I know everybody's just looking at me like, oh my gosh, because like everybody that was walking for the designer that I just walked for had like super big, crazy teased hair, but they were white girls. There were two black girls. One of the black girls, she had like natural hair. She had like natural hair, so like it was already kind of big like that's how my hair would be like if I had my hair curly you know um, but she had a thicker grade of hair um, and then the other black girl it seemed like she kind of had like a perm or something so they just like teased it how they did the um, white girls but like all the white girls look so good like with their big teased hair and I looked like Michael Jackson from Thriller but it's okay it's a learning experience and I'm done Oh my god, the designer's calling me. Hello? Oh wow, I actually might have left that in the bathroom. That is so not okay. Okay, I'm so sorry, thank you. Bye. Y'all, I was so ready to get out of there. I straight left my dress in the bathroom. Oh my god, I didn't hang it up. So the makeup artist was like the like we had like an inspiration picture She was like it looks like she has nude lips So I'm just gonna take your concealer and put it on your mouth girl if you don't pull out a nude lip uh, Liner and a lipstick. I know she didn't I know you lying She straight took the concealer and was just like maybe that's what people do, but it doesn't look good. Oh my cracker But yeah, so this is the end of the vlog I really didn't show much today because I just felt like I looked so so crazy number one and then number two today was a little more I don't want to say hectic but like moving a little more so like I really didn't have time to like take out my camera and vlog and stuff but if you enjoy this video make sure to give it if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up uh, make sure to comment let me know what y'all want to see Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post. I hope everybody has a great rest of their day. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye. I just want to give y'all a close up. Oh my makeup.